I know when I first got my my Tesla, and I I walked into that car, I'm like, this is a full on experience. This is not a car anymore. I love this thing. And yeah. to say that you love a product, it means a lot. You're using it every day. That's right. So I've had a chance to drive probably 25 or 30 different EVs from manufacturers across the world. I personally own a 2022 Model 3 extended range. And I also had a Model S, an older one, which is also very cool. I'll tell you my favorite vehicle to drive is the F-150 Lightning. And it's funny because I am, I don't know if you could tell Chad, but I am the farthest thing from a pickup guy. If I lived in the city, I'd just be an Uber guy, right? But I drove the F-150 down from California from the research center up to Seattle with, we had a caravan of software nerds. It was kind of cool. And a couple other smart auto people. And the F-150 Lightning is just this exceptional experience. So first of all, F-150s are really comfortable to ride and drive in. They're like a luxury vehicle. I didn't know that. But the other one is the whole way that Ford is thinking about electric and that experience is it's everything you expect in an F-150. It also just happens to be have a battery. So the fact that I can fill up my F-150 for, you know, 10 bucks at home, charging it overnight, and my my friends down the street are filling up their F-150 for 150 or 200 bucks with gas or diesel. We don't talk about electric. We just go, how much, how much does it cost to fill up your vehicle? Holy crap. Maybe I should think about an EV. So it's fun to see all of the intelligence of Ford put against this problem of how to be really useful in places where I live. I live in the middle of nowhere in Washington state and the middle of nowhere in Portugal. And we don't have urban problems. We have rural problems. How do you get charging when you're out on a farm and you're used to pick up and that sort of thing? We're reforming how we do transportation and we get to be part of it. Holy, holy, go gosh, golly. That's pretty awesome. So holy, gosh, yeah, golly. I don't know if that's a word. Well, it's your phrase now. That's uh, awesome. Uh, 